Hola, welcome to my channel. My name is Risa and this is Divine Portal. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be tapping into the sexual energy. We're going to see how this person feels about you. What do they fantasize about you? What are their desires? How do they feel about you? What what are they most attracted to? All of that good stuff, okay? So if you're not into sexual readings or graphic language or explicit language, then this is not the video for you, okay? You can go ahead and click off now because it gets intense. I just want to warn you, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So I already cleansed the energy. I cleansed my cards. So... Let's see what we got going on, Aquarius. Which one am I going to pull first? Okay, I'm going to pull some of these, actually. This is just regular love messages. We have deep mental connection, okay? Um, so we're going we're gonna to take a look at the love messages first, and then we're going to get into the sexual energy, okay? Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, forces from the other side, God, goddess, please pass along the most important, most loving, accurate messages for all of the Aquarians out there, those who are watching this video right now, and those who will find this video in the future. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so Aquarius... If you're talking to somebody, if you're in a relationship, if you're single and you're just dating people or, you know, um, we're going to see how how these options or this person feels about you, okay? I say options because I feel like some of you could have multiple people that that want your attention or that are attracted to you, you know? So let's see. What would this person like to tell their Aquarius? This one says, baby, let's make up. So if you guys are fighting or arguing or, you know, you guys broke up, whatever happened, I feel like this person really wants to make up. We have, I want to be your woman. So some of you could have um, a woman that wants to be yours. They want to be in a relationship. So if you are a divine masculine, I feel like there's a woman that really wants to be your girlfriend, your wife, you know? <clears throat> what would this person like to tell Aquarius? What would this person like to tell their Aquarius? So take a moment, Aquarius. Think about your person. Visualize them. So that person, how does that person feel about Aquarius? This one says, I feel like I'm under a spell. So for some of you, this person could feel like you're casting spells. I feel like they have this desire for you. And it maybe they've never felt it before. And they, they feel like they're under a spell. Or maybe, I don't know. Let's see. We have Gemini. This one says, I'm so fucking jealous of him. So there could be two masculines that are kind of competing with each other. This could be a third party situation with two men. Maybe like, um, maybe there's a feminine energy and she has two men or a new boyfriend and an ex hmm. what else do we have we have friend zone someone here got friend zoned what's going on here you inspire and motivate me 
I'm getting for some of you, you could be like a very powerful, influential person, a woman. I'm getting like a woman maybe, even if you're masculine. I feel like this person looks at you and they're just like so in love with you. They've never felt this way about anyone. You inspire them, you motivate them. They want to do better, they want to be better. Um, I feel like it's just something about your energy. This person's addicted to it. They don't know... Maybe this person, like I said, they've never had a connection that felt like this. Maybe someone here was already, you know, dealing with someone. And maybe that's why someone got friend zoned. We have spooky and sexy. So this person's like, I feel like this person's kind of afraid of you or like intimidated by your energy but they find you so sexy. We have Scorpio. So there could be a Scorpio that's jealous of someone. So we have Gemini and Scorpio so far, okay. What else is going on here, spirits? <clears throat> else can you tell me we have dangerously in love so this person could be in love with you maybe you friend zone someone that that is fucking in love with you I'm getting this person's like so fucking in love with you but it's right under friend zone so I feel like somebody has feelings for you they got friend zone now they're jealous of whoever you're talking to Whoever you're dating. We have loyal to you. So someone is loyal to you, okay? Um, I'm getting... This is really weird, but I'm getting like a specific story. There's a feminine energy here who has a person from their past, a masculine that's still in love with with them and ha and they're very jealous and there's a new person that you're talking to and they're both kind of fighting over you energetically competing with each other i feel like you like one of them and the other one you i'm here you don't really care for them what but i feel like these both of them are loyal to you we have Taurus. We have a jealous friend looking at your pics and videos. So this person is like watching your page while you keep playing. So we have, there could be someone on the outside. Like, like I said, look at this. We have jealous twice here. So someone here is jealous of whatever connection you got. Maybe this person's jealous because you just friends on them, right? Fighting over you. Didn't I say that there's like energies fighting over you? Some, like I said, mo some of you could have multiple options and they all want to be with you. We have in the military. Someone could be in the military and then we have Aquarius on the bottom. We have silently watching. So someone could be watching you from the shadows what else this is interesting what else can you tell me we have a younger man so some of you could be connecting to a younger man maybe you are the younger man if you're masculine watching this i will fight for you like i said there's they both want to fight for you hmm I get this energy that's like, are you spending time with other people? Are you spending time with him? Are you giving him your attention? Are you doing the same things you used to do to me, to him, you know? That's weird. Okay, I think that's enough. And then we have, give me a chance, please. We have power couple. So for those of you who are are already in a relationship there's someone on the outside that's jealous it says my friends give me bad advice 
She's mine, stay the fuck away. What? And obsessed with hating on you. So, like I said before, someone here purposely gives your person bad advice because they want to be with you. I don't know. I just get like a masculine energy that's very possessive over a feminine. Okay. Now we're going to get the sexual the sexual messages. <clears throat> Please take a moment to like this video, guys. I'm going to pull these, my OG sexual message cards. So let's get into your person's, your person's energy. How do they feel about you sexually? Okay, we want to know what turns them on the most. We want to know um, how they feel, right? What they're thinking. Let's see. And this could be someone that you've already had sex with, someone that you've never had sex with. You could be celibate, um, whatever, okay? We're going to see what's going on here. This one says, I want to worship your body. This person loves your body. On this side, it says makeup sex. Okay, let's see. How does this person feel about Aquarius section? We have sexual healing. We have a pedophile. Hmm. We have pretty pussy. Someone here has a pretty pussy. We have multiple sex partners. Come on my face. Doggy style. Anal. She can't fuck me as good as you. Three times in a row. And then we have, look at me when you come. So from this energy, this is like two separate energies, okay? This top energy is like a very healing feminine, right? She has a healing pussy, it's pretty. Um, she has a very beautiful face. Whoever this, whoever this feminine energy has sex with, they always wanna come on her face because she's so pretty. Okay, <laughs> we have anal, so um, someone really has a strong desire to have anal sex with this feminine energy. Um, I'm getting like a masculine that just wants to put it in all of her holes, you know? This is like, this top energy is like a very s sensual healing energy but at the same time it's like really nasty you know and three times in a row this person just wants to hit it back to back to back i feel like this person whoever is fucking this feminine energy they like never get tired of having sex with you as soon as they finish fucking they want to get right back in it you know that type of energy <laughs> and then on the bottom we have a totally different energy this is this one says pedophile multiple sex partners so with this one it could either be two things there could be someone that maybe was um i'm hearing they were sexually abused or molested as a child um they need to heal that part of them i feel like there could be a part of this person that's attracted to you because you are so healing because they do have those i'm hearing deep rooted like sexual traumas that they're still holding on to from childhood right 
regarding the situation. Maybe this is why they're very promiscuous or, you know, instead of dealing with the issue, they just tend to just go, you know, fuck other people, which is kind of like an addiction. This person, I don't know, whatever this person is going through, they deal with their issues through like just fucking other people, you know, instead of actually healing. And this could be a totally different, like, disgusting energy, which I'm also getting, like, they're good. And it's crazy because I was watching um, Lilo, Lilo's Vanity here on YouTube. I love her, her readings. And she posted an Aquarius reading, right? And she had to keep restarting her video because she was trying to expose a certain energy that was coming through, right? And it just... It just kept fucking up her videos, but she was trying to say that there is somebody around you that's like fucking creepy, weird, has the most disgusting sexual fetishes, and just you need to stay away from this person, keep your children away from this person. Um, I feel like you kind of know who this is. This is someone that just carries like a dark energy. Ugh. I'm getting someone with just like, just literally a dark energy. And I feel like this person is attracted to you because you're so beautiful, because you're so healing. Because I'm also hearing because you're so innocent. This person likes, like this is like a fucking weirdo type of person that likes innocence. If you're like naive, you know, or this person perceives you as being naive something about that they just want to like take advantage of you this could be like i'm hearing this could be an ex because we have she can't fuck me as good as you this is someone that's been trying to fuck any and everything trying to like get that same feeling back but this person realizes that nobody could ever give them that sexual healing like you did right this person might like doggy style we have look at me when you come okay i'm gonna put this energy back away because I don't like it like I said whoever that person is you need to stay away from them I'm also gonna I'll link that video to Lilo Vanity's video that way you guys can watch it because it was really interesting on the bottom it says I love the way you smell okay then I'm gonna pull some of these sexual messages. How does this person feel about Aquarius? First, let me spray this energy just to refresh it. Just to reset the energy because that was a little weird. I'm also getting like that person. They're they're like an energy vampire, okay? So they're gonna keep coming back trying to fuck you. I'm hearing don't you dare fuck that person. Whoever gives you weird, creepy vibes, do not fuck them. Okay? You do not want their energy attached to you, is what I'm hearing. Trust me, you don't want that energy attached to you, okay? Keep your kids away from that person. All that. <clears throat> How does this person currently feel about Aquarius? How do they feel about the sexual energy? We have selling dick, okay? <sighs> so that same energy is coming through. This is someone that, like, um, they really don't value themselves. They just... They like men, they like women, they like children, they like transgender, they like, you name it. And if you think about it, you guys, okay, so porn is cool, right? Porn, whatever, however you feel about porn, but it's kind of really scary when you think about it because these little children have like access to the internet, they have access to porn, they have access to all these different types of genres of porn and sh that's fucking like think about somebody having unlimited access to porn right as a teenager preteen so they're you know 
every year, you know, every decade, they become, like, desensitized to just, like, regular sex. They're, like, exploring all these different, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, mentally, people are just, like, they're getting bored with regular sex, so they want to fuck the same sex. They want to fuck different, just, ugh, I don't even want to think about it. But this person, I feel like this person's just into everything. Ugh. We have selling pussy too, just like, ugh. I feel like this person buys pussy, sells dick, just, ugh, you guys, no. This is so disgusting. This is why you have to be careful, like, who you fuck, you guys, because you could be connecting to fucking weirdos. People that sell dick for a living, you're over here thinking you're in a relationship with them. And, you know, on the side, they're over there selling their dick. Like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. You guys. We have STDs. Do not have sex with them. I'm not making this up. This is someone that literally gives themselves to any and everything like they'll fuck anything oh that's so fucking This one says, best head ever. This person feels like you give the best head ever. We have dry, painful sex. Ew. Ugh. I'm getting the nastiest visuals, you guys. Oh, my God. I'm getting, like, somebody... And my ears are itching and my nose is itching. So I'm getting somebody that's like, I'm getting a masculine. And I don't mean to like call out the masculine energies or like make them feel bad. But I'm tapping into a masculine energy that has like zero self, self-love, self-worth. Um, this person, they buy dick. They sell themselves, you know. I'm getting somebody that sells their, you know, and they're getting fucked, and it's, like, dry, it's painful, but this person, it's like they need that sexual energy, they need it, they're, like, addicted, like, literally an addict, you know? On the bottom, we have you take control and sell a bit. So some of you could be celibate, right? Ooh, and down low, man. Didn't I tell you? So if you're celibate, I'm hearing stay celibate, okay? Control your own sexual energy. Master your sexual energy. Do you know how fucking powerful sexual energy is? First of all, it's like powerful enough to create a fucking human being. You can literally create other shit with it. And if you're literally giving your power away to any and everyone, giving them some of your energy. Uh, how are you able to manifest for yourself if you, like, give your energy away to other people? Like, honestly, no lie. Since I've, since I've been celibate, I've been able to manifest like that because I'm not interested in fucking people or I'm not interested in casual sex which is cool I'm not judging anyone but like I could be doing better things with that energy than just giving it to a dirty ass nigga that's been fucked the whole community you know we have so good you're gonna have my babies we have predators stay away this person would literally plan on getting you pregnant so that they want to have some tie to you. They want to take you off the streets. If you're, like, single, right, this person wants to get you pregnant so that you're not out here this summer, honestly. We have I Can't Live Without It. We have Passion and Missionary Sex. What can you tell me? Give me some new energy, please, Spirit, because this is nasty. 
but I feel like this really wanted to come out to warn you guys. Don't be out here giving your valuable, beautiful pussy to this these nasty ass men. Like these are men that are watching like the nastiest type of porn, you guys. Like I'm hearing like nasty. They're watching porn. They're out there fucking nasty ass people. That like literally someone will fuck anything. Anything, you guys. Anything. New person, new what new energy do we have for Aquarius? New sexual energy for Aquarius. New sexual energy. This one says, my desires for you are so strong, holding back sexual urges and temptation. So there's somebody that really wants you, but they're holding themselves back. They have these strong desires for you. We have open-minded. This person likes that you're open-minded. Again, we have, I can't live without it. Someone really can't live without your sex. This person literally is going crazy fucking any and any and any and everything to get that same feeling back but it's like they want to come back to you right after they've been out in the streets fucking nasty just nasty they want to come back to you right because you got that goddess level pussy literally goddess level I'm here, why the fuck would a goddess want to compete with a prostitute? I'm sorry, like, why would you want to compete with a prostitute? This person's out here fucking prostitutes. Why would you even want to, like, mix your energy with somebody that's out there doing that shit, you know? You're going to attract somebody that's on your level by, by preserving your energy, by saving yourself, right? And I'm not even going to lie, like, yeah, sex is cool, sex is, is, it feels good, but I don't constantly need to have it, you know? I can be celibate, I can please myself, right? Honestly, some of the best sex that I've ever had is with myself, you know? <laughs> so I don't mind being celibate and waiting for the right person. I would rather fuck myself than fuck somebody that I don't know where they've been. They could have diseases, they could, you know... Behind, I'm hearing they're hiding a lot of nasty fantasies or, ugh, I don't know. And then we have pretty fat pussy. So it's like, it's, I mean, Aquarius, whoever this feminine energy is, I just gotta say, like, literally, pretty pussy is fat, it's magical, it's healing, okay? Okay, Aquarius. <laughs> um, let me pull them from the top. Ooh, devil dick. Ooh, blue balls. Another one. Soft skin, juicy body. So somebody that has devil dick, maybe maybe this person has good dick, right? Obviously, they've been fucking every and everyone. Every and anyone. <laughs> so yeah, they have devil dick, right? And the fact that they no longer have access to you, it's like making them so frustrated you're the only one that can please this person you're the only one that can fuck them as good as you know nobody can fuck them as good as you is what i'm trying to say okay we have soft skin juicy body some of you i'm getting the feminine energy here takes really good care of herself her pussy's beautiful it's magical it's clean it smells good her skin is soft She's juicy in all the right places, okay? How much are we in? Let me put some of these. What else can you tell me, spirit? We have just like that. It's like you know exactly what to do, how to turn this person on, how to make them come. Some of you could be squirters or you just make this person come so fucking hard, okay? 
we have careless with who they fuck yeah their dick is all rotten now because they've been giving it to any and everyone like i said some of them could have stds like literally you guys be careful we have healing with every stroke i feel like there will be another masculine that comes into your life that has the same healing energy as you okay this could also be how your masculine feels like every time they stroke that pussy it's like so healing you know we have big round juicy booty someone here has a perfect booty it's very round very juicy we have passion and love making we have squirting didn't i just say that some of you could squirt i'm hearing if you're not a squirter this person this person could make you squirt we have pretty feet someone really likes your feet we have unable to get hard so this could be <laughs> if this is someone that's been around the block i feel like it's affecting their dick okay all right aquarius thank you for watching this video let me know if you like it subscribe to my channel if you're new um comment leave, leave, comment and let me know what you think did i really say that i don't know anyways bye guys enjoy the rest of your day love you